Let me now turn to the actions of a tiny, mindless minority in our society. Because in the aftermath of this attack, the community of Southport had to suffer twice. A gang of thugs got on trains and buses, went to a community that is not their own, a community grieving the most horrific tragedy, and then proceeded to throw bricks at police officers, police officers who just 24 hours earlier had been having to deal with an attack on children in their community, their community. And make no mistake, whether it's in Southport, London or Hartlepool, these people are showing our country exactly who they are. Mosques targeted because they're mosques. Flares thrown at the statue of Winston Churchill. A Nazi salute at the Cenotaph. And so I've just held a meeting with senior police and law enforcement leaders where we've resolved to show who we are. A country that will not allow understandable fear to curdle into division and hate in our communities and that will not permit under any circumstances a breakdown in law and order on our streets. Because let's be very clear about this. It's not protest. It's not legitimate. It's crime, violent disorder, an assault on the rule of law and the execution of justice. And so on behalf of the British people, who expect their values and their security to be upheld, we will put a stop to it. I want to thank all of the police officers across the country who have already, as they do so often, stood up to intimidation and violence in the past few days and in doubt throughout the summer. And let me be clear, the meeting this afternoon was not about pointing the finger of blame. That is not how this government of service conducts its business, because it doesn't work. Rather, this was a meeting to pull together our response, a response both to the immediate challenge, which is clearly driven by far-right hatred, but also all violent disorder that flares up, whatever the apparent cause or motivation. We make no distinction. Crime is crime. And so to that end, I can announce today that following this meeting, we will establish a national capability across police forces to tackle violent disorder. These thugs are mobile. They move from community to community. And we must have a policing response that can do the same. Shared intelligence, wider deployment of facial recognition technology, and preventative action, criminal behaviour orders, to restrict their movements before they can even board a train, in just the same way that we do with football hooligans. And let me also say to large social media companies and those who run them, violent disorder clearly whipped up online, that is also a crime. It's happening on your premises, and the law must be upheld everywhere. That is the single most important duty of government. Service rests on security, and we will take all necessary action to keep our streets safe. 